Hey guys, jumping right into it today. We're gonna fire up the Weber Smoke Fire. Why? Because I haven't used it in probably three, three weeks, at least three weeks. I've had some parts on order, the parts came in, then I got to playing with the, the master built and eh, Weber had to sit on the sideline. Well, yesterday we finally got around to replacing the auger, replacing the auger chute, getting it all in, but I thought I would show you this real fast. Look at this. When we took the auger chute out, look how hard that stuff's in there. It's hard. And look at the auger just piled in. That's trash. That's trash. I don't know what went wrong. Something's going wrong with that auger. Hopefully we've got some, some good, uh, good product in this thing now. I'm going to fire it up get it prepared, then I'm gonna cut up some pork and uh, into some uh, country ribs, throw them on the grill for a bit, season them down. I'll take you with me. Hopefully you enjoy this video. We'll see you soon. Here we go. We're going to 275. There we go. All right, 275. That should take us all the way to temp, exactly where we wanna cook these. I'm gonna get the pork shoulder um, out, and now it's a pork shoulder roast, which means it's been trimmed, has the bone side cut out of it. Typically, they'll cut that end off, and they'll cut it into country ribs. Sometimes you have some with bones in them, and then you get this really nice roast out of it. Me, I'm just, I was on a whim. I bought them at Costco. I didn't even really look at the price. They're kind of expensive, but I was on a whim and I was, I was hungry for a roast and so I just grabbed them. Well, we ran out of time to cook a roast today, but I didn't run out of time to throw them out here as country ribs, turn them into tacos. They're gonna be fantastic. Hopefully you enjoy this. Hopefully I don't ruin it and I, uh, it doesn't matter. Food is gonna be great and the weather is fantastic. So that's all I can care about. Stay tuned, here we go. The pork is coming out of the package. Just gonna slide it in here for a second. Now this is just a center cut boneless pork shoulder. Now it's basically been trimmed off. You can see how it's been squared on this side, been trimmed out of here. The bone would have been over on this side. This looks absolutely great. Simple, easy task. Now the Weber smoke fire is at right at uh, 275 and I'm gonna cut it about an inch and a half. I'm just gonna take my knife Oh yeah, this is, this is good stuff right here. And we'll probably get four out of this. Now this piece of meat was just about, I don't know, nine and a half, ten dollars. You gotta buy them in a pack. It was just like, just under uh, $20 for both of them. I say it's kind of expensive, but you know, you could buy a whole pork butt and do this for $1.99 a pound on, on sale. This is a little expensive, like I said, it, two dollars and fifty cents a pound or something like that a little bit more expensive all right now look this is going to be fantastic we're just going to take them out here now that i've got them cut i'm going to cut them in half one more time and boom now there are different types of pork ribs this this is definitely off the shoulder there are pork ribs that are right off the loin and the back side of the ribs. Now, I've never cooked those before. Um, I've seen some videos where they, uh, where they cut them or cook them like that. I've just never seen them. I don't have a saw that I could get into those ribs. Um, and I've never seen uh, a, uh, a, a rib uh, or bone in uh, loin before. Not for sale around here without going to a butcher. Now, this is that very last one that I cut. I'm gonna go ahead and leave it at that size. This is the perfect size, guys. Look at that, it's just perfect, okay? And all we're gonna do is we're gonna season them up. We're gonna do three or four things. We're gonna season them up. We're gonna cook them for about an hour, hour and 15 minutes. Then we're gonna come back. We're gonna put them in the pan with some, our favorite sauce, a little beer, a few more uh, dabs of, of spice. Now it's windy out here, so I'm doing my best not to overcoat them and go crazy, but we are gonna put them in a sauce and then we're gonna finish that sauce off. 
Now, I always season one season all the way around and then I come back and do the next one. Um, you don't have to do it that way. You can do it any way you like. It's up to you, whatever you feel more comfortable with. I try to do it as I'm rolling all the way around. Again, lots of, lots of different techniques for seasoning and stuff. You can't go wrong, right? Just get it seasoned in there good. I'm using some Cosmos SPG. Um, I bought three, three, four pounds of this and we've been using it for the last month and I really do like it. It's just really, really fresh. Um, and it's got the right, the right mixture for me. Um, and it's just easier than me pouring salt and pepper and garlic myself, which I would have used on everything else. Today, honey chipotle, honey chipotle. And um, we've never used the honey chipotle on this before. So again, I'm gonna roll right through this and just season it down. And then I'm, they're going right on the grill. These have been outside on the counter resting for the better part of 10 minutes or so uh, while I fired this grill up. Now with the new auger, the Weber smoke fire came right up to temperature, no issues whatsoever. The only issue I have is I've relocated the grills down to the lower patio. And so I'm not getting, um, I'm not getting uh, Wi-Fi down here. I don't know why, because I have Wi-Fi in the corner for our outside light. So a little confused there. Maybe that's just a, a little weakness. Maybe I have to stick another repeater out here, which I could probably do right here at the junction box outlet. So here we go. I'm gonna scrape the grill off and I'll show you what I'm gonna do with this. I wanna try to catch as much of these drippings. So I'm gonna put the pan right underneath. Um, that's primarily because we're gonna stick them directly down in there and finish them off. These things are super tender and we're just gonna try to get them all around this pan as much as we possibly can. They're not all gonna fit. That's gonna be perfectly okay. No one's gonna complain. Everybody's gonna eat good. And just like that, pork, country ribs have been sliced out of regular old pork shoulder. Now they're center cut boneless, but center cut boneless pork shoulder cut into country ribs. They're gonna cook right at 275 for, hey, you know, anywhere between 45 minutes and an hour. One of them is a little thinner, so I'll check back in at 45 minutes. Right now, it is definitely, it's a quarter till four. I'll check back in. Hopefully we'll be eating right around 5.30 or so, because we're gonna cook them, then we're gonna sauce them, and then we're gonna let them caramelize back out on the grill outside of the sauce, and we'll be preparing beans inside. Hope you guys are enjoying the video. Again, I really hope your day is fantastic. It is absolutely beautiful out here. We'll see you soon. Smoke fire. Running perfect, guys. Running absolutely perfect. Shh, shh, shh. Smoke fire is running perfect, guys. Hopefully you can hear me. It got really windy. Got the little muffy muff. We're gonna jump in here real fast and see how we're doing. Oh yeah, those are looking good. We grab some tongs here. I'm just gonna roll them over. Not much juice, look at that. Not much juice. Oh my goodness, those are looking good. They feel good and tender. Oh, they smell, I wish you guys had smell-o-vision. That stuff smells so good. All right. Some of that seasoning is flaking off there. It's perfect. Look at that, that's great. Get you in close. Oh, that looks fantastic. Now look here. We're at 146, okay. 160, we're getting really close. 174, this one over the edge. Look, this one over here on the edge is getting direct heat. It's not getting heat, uh, heat shielded. We're just gonna kind of stack them because we're gonna put them in that sauce in a few minutes, but I want them to get a little bit more done. A few minutes. You're you guys see. ready? I know you're ready. I'm ready. Oh, look at those. That looks fantastic. I'm gonna probe one of them, but I'm gonna stick the rest in here because I know just by the color and the texture, these things are gonna be perfect. I'm just gonna throw them in real fast. We'll probe this big one, because the big one, even if it's not done, those little ones definitely are. Here we go, probing out at 167. That's gonna be fine. 
gonna be fine. I'd like it to be a little bit, a little bit uh, more, but we're gonna cover this with foil and steam it down. It's definitely gonna cook, cook in it. Here, what, here's what we're gonna do. Little, little apple, apple cider vinegar, not much, just a little. We're gonna crack a beer. We're gonna pour some beer all over this. Oh yeah, look at that. Then we're gonna get Cosmos. Some of Cosmos peach habanero. And we're gonna pour that down. Just like this. Oh yeah, look at that. And this bottle's almost empty. So we're gonna save a little in case somebody wants a little dipping. We're gonna a little more Cosmos Dirty Bird. Just a oh, gotta turn it the right way. A little bit more, and I'm gonna stir all that in, slide it back in there, cook it for about 30 more minutes. That's gonna steam that down. It's gonna bring it right up to the final temperature. Then we're gonna pull it out, we're gonna stick it on these top grates, let it caramelize a little. This is gonna be fantastic. I hope you guys stay tuned. Hope you enjoy these videos. If you do, subscribe and like. We'll see you soon show you where we are look at that all right here we go grab our trusty tongs not concerned about this get off there all right we'll get it out of the way look at that bubbling oh look at that we're going right up top get you some more sauce there you go Probably gonna see some of that sauce on my shirt up here on top. Oh my goodness, that smells delicious. And we are gonna caramelize this stuff. It's a little, little runnier than I like, but that's okay. It's still gonna be fine. Apple cider vinegar, Cosmos peach habanero. Oh goodness, that looks great, guys. Another 15 minutes right there. We're gonna go inside and get a plate and bring him inside. See you in a second. There we go. The grill is in shutdown mode. We're gonna flip them. Look at that. That is absolutely, oh yeah. That is fantastic, guys. Here we go, to the plate. To the plate. Look at that. Guys, I hope you've enjoyed this video. I'm gonna roll them inside, cut them up, and maybe we'll get an opportunity to tell you how good they taste. If not, I hope you've had a wonderful day. I'll see you on the next one. No, this one, this one. Gunner, go. You're always in the video. Always in the video. And these are just samplers, okay? These just came off, they're super, super hot. We give this one to you. Super hot, super hot. Here's a towel. Oh my goodness. Good. Look at that smoke ring. That's delicious. It's pretty good stuff. Love you guys. God bless you. Thanks for watching. I'll see you on the next one.